Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing a reaction video and we're doing a reaction video to something that's actually quite special. Now, if any of you have even looked at my channel over the past couple of months, you'll know that I'm a very big fan of the Legend of Spyro series. I've been doing a lot of content on it recently, um, and I love it to pieces. It's a piece of my childhood, and it is underappreciated to hell. And underappreciated franchises tend to be my specialty. Now, over the past couple of months, uh, I've been delving further into the sort of lore and community of The Legend of Spyro than I ever have done in the past. And while doing so, I discovered this. Now, I had no idea that these existed for so long, and basically, what these are is commercials for the second game, uh, The Legend of Spyro the Eternal Night. Um, and basically, these aren't just regular commercials, they are actual, probably sort of soft canon, actual cutscenes. And I I have watched the first one, but I haven't watched the second and third one. There's three of them in this video, and we're going to react to them today. I've already seen the first one, but I haven't seen the others. And I was originally intending to wait um, until after I'd finished my playthrough of New Beginning and do this as a sort of segue from New Beginning into Eternal Night. Uh, but I actually kind of need to watch this. Um in preparation for a Legend of Spyro lore video that I'm going to be doing soon. So, I thought I'd just, uh, I thought I'd just sort of watch this. Um, and again, like my lore videos, this is more for the people who, uh, already know about, uh, the Legend of Spyro, but, uh, I will most likely redirect the people that watch my playthrough for the first time of The Legend of Spyro New Beginning here before I start my Eternal Night playthrough. So, if this is in the future for all of you and I finish my New Beginning playthrough, it's okay, you can watch this because this is uh, a sort of teaser into what's going to be in the next game. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. And this is really exciting because this is actual cutscenes and technically soft cannon lore that I've never seen before. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. I've got to make sure I'm, I'm actually press play and don't accidentally stop my recording like I've done for reaction videos in the past. Let's do it. This is so cool. And soon, the night of eternal darkness will be upon us. Evil spirits will once more roam our land. Silence. Even. Sorry. <laughs> Even now, our enemies prepare to defend the temple. Look. 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 Come on, here it is. Great. We get to spend the day inside the creepy dragon room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure how this works. Relax, Spyro. Back in the training room. All you have to do is stand outside the circle, and whatever you think of appears inside the circle. Try it. Okay. And here goes nothing. Keep trying. Doing great, Spyro. Nothing. <laughs> you let that right. Come on, Spyro. There we go. Something more challenging. Yeah, Sinker. What are you thinking? All right, tough guy. Try this one. <laughs> oh, that's maybe a bit too advanced. Cinder, end it. Make him go away. Uh, I can't. Oh no, not again. Oof. Do something. You're running out Come on, Spyro. Come on. Spyro. Did you look at that? How did you do that? We must attack the temple. The great gall must 
No fucking hell, not him. Okay, before we go on to the next one, let's briefly talk about that. That was really cool, because not only did we get to actually see how the temple dojo room works, um, which is something we never really got to see, because, you know, uh, we we always go in there in the beginning to do all the training for all the elements, but we never really, you know, question how it actually works. So, clearly, as Cinder explained, you think of something and it appears. It's pretty cool. Um... And obviously, this is before Eternal Night. This is in the little midpoint between New Beginning and Eternal Night. The the couple of months or couple of weeks that it was. Again, we don't we don't really know how long it was. Um, but uh, as you can see, Spyro is trying to relearn his his breath. Um, he managed to launch somewhat of a. I'm gonna actually slow it down to see because that looked like a like a weird fireball. So he breathes it's like red spark. It's, that look that did look like a weird fireball. It's definitely a fireball, but it had like a purple tinge to it. Hmm. And let's let's definitely not forget now. It's, it's weird because it seems as though, like, Cinder summoned, like, intended to summon a vision of, like, Gaul, but it looked as if, like, when she said she couldn't end it, maybe that was actually Gaul, because, you know, I don't know, it may have just been, like, a really powerful, um, a really powerful you know, version of Gaul that Cinder summoned and couldn't control. But, you know, maybe Gaul used his powers to sort of, like, project himself into the training room. I don't know if that's possible, but, um, I, yeah, I guess it's, you know, sort of a possibility. Um, and the highlight of it all, Spyro's ability here. Another moment of trauma, and he unlocks this. Now... It's very interesting because that that glow, that's a very distinct purple glow. And we know there's only one element that glows purple, and that's ether. So it's interesting to see that Spyro used an ether ability. So, you know, he was trying to relearn his base elements like fire and, you know, ice and electricity and earth and everything. And he just happened to use an ether ability. And what's interesting is that this was a melee attack, and it's actually a slower version of the dark ether melee attack that he uses as Dark Spyro. So this is the light ether version of that. So that's really interesting. Um, that's definitely something that I'll have to talk about in another video. But I think that's uh, all we can really gather from this one. So let's go on to the second one. And I've not seen these two, so I'm very excited. We're in the swamp. And there's the temple. The calm and the storm. The celestial moons are getting closer. Whoa. Oh my god! That's a lot of dreadwings. Whoa. Another nightmare, huh? They're coming. Ooh. Oh, the hey, Guardians! We've got to hurry. I had another vision. Spyro, turn around slowly. Spyro! Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, the, the running gag. Attack the temple! Ah, I think he said attack the temple. Oh, well done, Sparks. Defend the temple! Whoa! Oh, 
Oh, the Wilhelm scream. Sparks, there are too many of them. We need to draw them away from the temple. Hey! Over here, you oversized chickens! Whoa! Talk about some mash with that roast chicken. Oh dear. Sparks. I'm not the main course here. Run away. Hey, Whoa. Sparks, let's go give that mask guy something to mumble about. Sparks? Oh dear. Sparks? Where are you? Oh crap. Okay, that was whoa. So, uh that that was very cool. I I'm pretty sure they weren't like I don't think that's Gary Oldman voicing Igniter, so they probably got someone else to do it for the commercials. Um And the model of Ignite is looks a bit weird. His eyes... May, maybe it just looks a bit better because, like, it's sort of fully animated. Um, and not in-game. It's, like, fully rendered and stuff. Um, but I think definitely the highlight of this one was seeing the Guardians actually fight. Because we got, we got to see them fight in... Um, we got to see them fight in a Dawn of the Dragon against the Golem, but that was in sort of the different art style. And I've always wanted to see the the Guardians, other than Ignitus, fight in the the Chrome uh, style um, of uh, Legend of Spar. Because for those of you who don't know, the first two games were made by uh, Chrome Game Studios, and then uh, the third one was made by Activision. Um, so. And that's why Dawn of the Dragon looks differently and is just completely different, basically. And I've always wanted to see, because obviously we've seen Ignitus fight multiple times in the Chrome games. Uh, he fought the apes in New Beginning and he fights the apes in Eternal Night as well. But we've never seen uh, any of the other three Guardians fight in this style. And we actually did get to see them attack here, which is really cool. Not Cyril using ice, and Voltia using electricity, that was really cool. Terador using a cool shockwave move with his tail. Sparrow using fire, and Ignitus using fire as well. And... And this... This here, so Sparrow uses fire, and then he's using, he's using the ether ability again. That's crazy. It looks crazy awesome as well. But yeah, I, I'm... Th this is so cool. I'm, I'm fucking loving this. But I think it's time for the final one. Chapter 3. Let's do it. Deep into the forest. Ooh! Jesus, look at him go. Neom. Oh. Oh, that's... It's really cool. Well, the dread wings have gone. We saved the temple. Excuse me? I saved the temple? Whatever. Let's get out of here. Great. Dead ended by a big lump of wood. Wait, something's not right. Oh no, is that? Oh no, it's Arboric. Oh god. Not right. Has anything ever been more wrong? Go, go. Yep, I think time to run. Whoa. This way. Yep, time to go. God, this is so cool. Oh, not you again. I think he said he finally found a glove. What is he using? You are my father? Oh, that's Ignitus. Come on, Spyro. He's just the guy in the mask. Well, that was easy. You 
better run. Ah, oh, that was so cool. Beginning. Hey, that's what we're playing now. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, that was awesome. So cool to, it's always so cool, whether it's Spyro or Arthur, to discover stuff like that, that you, from way back when, that you've never seen before. Um, this is, this is the equivalent of when I discovered the deleted scenes for the Arthur movies. Oh, that was so cool. I, I, I love the, how Sparks fucking, like, squeezed out of the log. That was, <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, but I definitely, this is definitely, uh, soft canon. Um, because obviously, these events didn't happen. Because in, in this, Spyro and Sparks literally run into Arboric, which they don't do until they go to the, the Ancient Grove. Or maybe, they, I, I did wonder, this probably is the Ancient Grove. Um, but it's really, it's really cool that Spyro, when he was fighting, um, when he was fighting these guys, he was using that melee attack. And it, that's definitely ether, because it's just a slower version of uh, the melee attack that he used against uh against Gaul when he was dark spyro and that that little breath attack that he does there that was purple he's just straight up using ether nonchalantly that's that's crazy he just like bam that's crazy and all of this was Gaul, like, looking into his, his crystal, sort of, staff. So, I guess that was just him seeing what was going on. Um, but yeah, this was so cool. It's the, honestly, still the highlight definitely has to be seeing the Guardians fight. Because, you know... We've we've never seen them fight in the Chrome version. This is so cool. Um, and just imagine what an actual in because obviously this was just a brief bit. Imagine what an actual in-game cutscene might have been when we saw the other Guardians fight. That would have been really cool. It's a shame we never got it because obviously we only ever see Ignitus uh, fight. Clearly, the other Guardians are elsewhere. Uh, defending such a shame but at least we got that little snippet it was very it's a very cool little snippet um but yeah uh thanks a lot for watching everyone uh i really hope you did enjoy if you did make sure to leave a like and uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more stuff about the legend of spyro from this guy right here uh yeah thanks a lot for watching everyone and i'll see you on another video very very soon goodbye everyone